Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. Today I'll be sharing with you my greatest disappointment of all time. Something even more disappointing than my birth. YouTube officially announced that for the first time since 2010, they will not have a YouTube Rewind this year. I know, it's hard guys. If you need to pause the video for a moment and wipe away the tears and come, I understand. Not only am I stricken with sorrow over the cancellation of this greatly respected tradition, but I'm also riddled with immense disappointment from a personal standpoint. It was my time to shine. This was the year I was going to be in Rewind. Don't believe me? The CEO of YouTube, Susan Wallowalawinski, flew to my house in her private jet just to personally announce my invitation. She even gave me a gold-plated butt plug with my username etched into it. I'm holding it right now in my hands. It's beautiful. Now Susan Waluigi handpicked me for an extremely important role in the Rewind. I was going to be the Saki of the video. She was going to dress me up like her and have a quick montage of my life falling apart starting from using a drug, in this case YouTube. That's the metaphor they were going for with my appearance. And what an honor it would have been for Susan Wikipedia to artistically demonstrate my journey from a young naive YouTuber to a bloody OD'd corpse on the floor of a public bathroom. Spoilers by the way. But those dreams have been dashed. I feel like I've had the rug pulled out from underneath me with Rewind's official cancellation. And why did they cancel it you ask? Because according to them, this year felt different. Well yeah, it's obviously felt different, we all know that. But by this logic, and being a massive social media platform, wouldn't the natural response be to find a way to make the Rewind happen to help cheer people up? Now don't get me wrong, Rewinds are absolute cringe dumpster fires, and I, like most people, greatly dislike them. I wasn't looking forward to a bunch of safe YouTubers I've never heard of preach morals at me, and I definitely wasn't looking forward to another watch mojo list like last year. But I think it's all pretty obvious what YouTube is doing here. They're using the pandemic as a way to wiggle out of something they don't have the care to do. This is their way of avoiding getting their annual ass blasting by a bukkake of dislikes. And it's a shame. I think with the current situation, people could have come up with some pretty creative ideas, and this could have been a much more community and creator driven rewind than it's normally done. I mean, regular people have been able to continue making content with no problems, so what's the issue? I mean, here's an idea. Individual creators could have made their own small bits or messages, and then YouTube would compile them for an official rewind. But yeah, that's beyond any level of care YouTube would want to give here, and it's not surprising. And I love this last part where they thank us for continuing to work so hard. Like, thanks? It's like the sweatshop owner thanking his child laborers for their hard work. Means a lot. But anyways, rewind is cancelled and my day to shine is gone. I'll see you guys next time.